I want us to read the word of God from the book of Isaiah 43. We are going to read several verses today, so uh, be quick on your fingers as you flip those pages. I don't have the verses in the slide, so just open your Bible. All right. Uh, Isaiah 43. I'm going to, and you, you stay there at Isaiah because I'm reading several verses. Isaiah 43, are you there? I'm going to read verse 19 to 21 first. The Bible says, Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The wild beasts will honor me, the jackals and the ostriches, for I give water in the wilderness, rivers in the desert, to give drink to my chosen people and the people whom I have formed for myself that they might declare my praise. Praise the name of the Lord. I want you to understand that the Lord has formed you for himself that we may declare his praise. Praise the name of the Lord. 2 Corinthians 15 verse 7, 17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creature. The old has passed. Behold, the new has come. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. And so as we talk about the new, I want you to understand that as long as you are in Christ, you are a new creature. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. The old has passed. The old, whatever you used to do in the past before you connected with Christ, it has passed. Praise the name of the Lord. The mistakes that you did, the sins that you committed, the messes you got yourself involved in before you came to Christ. When you come to Christ, the Lord makes you a new creature. He makes you a new person. He makes you a new man. The old is past. Praise the name of the Lord. And so as we speak about the old, the new, the Lord is saying, Behold, I am doing a new thing. The Lord is declaring to us this year, Behold, I am doing a new thing. And when we talk about a new thing, it is something that you have not seen before. Praise the name of the Lord. It is something that has not existed in the past year. It is something that you have not experienced before. Praise the name of the Lord. And then the Lord asks a question. Do you not perceive it? And so as we speak about the new, how do we get to enter into the fullness of the new thing that the Lord is doing? Number one, we need to perceive the new. Praise the name of the Lord. And perceiving is sensing. Perceiving is having an awareness that there is a shift in the season. There is a change that is taking place. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, being aware, being alert, being conscious. Praise the name of the Lord. It is expected of us that we perceive what the Lord is doing. And that is why he's asking, don't you perceive it? Behold, I am doing a new thing. Do you not perceive it? Praise the name of the Lord. And then he's saying, it is now springing forth. That whatever the Lord is about to do, it is now springing forth. It is not something that will take forever. Hallelujah. It is not something that will be delayed. Amen. It is not something that will take years to spring forth because he is declaring and the bible says that his words are true praise the name of the lord his word has been tried seven times by fire and proved true he says let all man be liars but he will remain faithful his promises are yes and amen our god is not a man that he should lie when he says he is doing a new thing then it is up to us to believe and to perceive yes he is doing a new thing. Praise the name of the Lord. We may not know what the new thing is, but our responsibility is to perceive. Tell your neighbor, perceive the new thing. 
And part of the new thing he is talking about, he is saying, I will make a way in the wilderness. You know, sometimes we go through a wilderness season. Amen. And let me explain to you what a wilderness season looks like. A wilderness season is where there is nothing good coming out of the season. In the wilderness, nothing grows. Praise the name of the Lord. In the wilderness, the sun is a hot. And God took the children of Israel through the wilderness. Let me tell you what was happening in the wilderness. In the wilderness, the Lord was providing them with manna. And this is how it was done. Every morning, they would go out and collect manna, only enough for the day. They would not stock for a week. They would only collect enough for the day. Praise the name of the Lord. And how do you know that you are in a wilderness season? In the wilderness season is when you just live from paycheck to paycheck. A dry season where you don't have savings, where you don't have anything stored up for tomorrow. The wilderness season. Praise the name of the Lord. The wilderness season where even to get water you have to struggle. Unless a miracle happens and water comes from the rock, you don't have water. The wilderness season is where you don't even have a new outfit. You grow, the outfit grows with you. You grow, the shoes grow with you. Nothing new happens in the wilderness. Praise the name of the Lord. And the Lord is saying, this is what I am about to do. I am making a way in the wilderness. Praise the name of the Lord. I am making a way. In the wilderness, they moved in circles. They stayed there 40 years, moving around, moving around, moving around. 40 years. Praise the name of the Lord. You know, when you are in the wilderness season, you keep trying what you're trying, but it seems like nothing works out. You think this is the time I'm coming out, I'm breaking through. But then you find yourself in the same place that you began. Praise the name of the Lord. But behold, the Lord is saying, I am making a new thing. I am doing a new thing. The time for you to remain in the wilderness is over. I am making a way in the wilderness. Praise the name of the Lord. And the Bible says, I am making rivers. Not streams. Not wells. Rivers.